regarding the question what um, AI could learn from the brain or the brain could learn from AI, meaning what we could learn from AI and machine learning, I think there's um, two very interesting, um, one obvious, one not so obvious approach, right? Um, one is obviously being inspired by how the brain works when you're designing machine learning algorithms. That's something that every deep learning scientist will tell you that the neural networks they use have nothing to do with how the brain works but they're inspired by how the brain works. You have nodes that are connected to each other that process information in some, some uh, complex, highly complex way, and you have some input that gets mapped to an output, basically. The brain obviously has a number of mechanisms that help it be very, very, very efficient, both from an energy time perspective, et cetera, et cetera. Now, when I throw a ball at you, for example, there's only a very low number of neurons that just by the time that it takes you to identify the ball is thrown at you, project a trajectory, move your arm, and, and basically grab the ball. There's only a limit, very limited number of neurons that can be involved in that process because the time you can, you can take to grab that ball is very limited. So for AI and machine learning algorithms, if we do them not rule-based, um, rather than deep learning systems, um, the, the, the number of neurons that you the, need to be involved there's just exponentially higher than what the brain can do. Um, so there's a lot of efficiency that we can possibly learn from how the brain works. And as neuroscience advances, we will see some of those ideas being incorporated into machine learning algorithms. Um, the second approach of you know, what AI can learn from humans and the other way around, I think is using AI and machine learning to build models of the brain. That's one, one that I find personally very exciting. The idea of saying, we have all this data from neural recordings in monkeys or mice or wherever you do your neuroscience experiments. And today the people, neuroscientists, typically use statistical models and some neural networks, but mostly typical uh, statistical models to try and analyze that data and understand you know, what's going on in the brain. Um, but now with advances in AI and machine learning, we have much better tools, statistical tools and um, analysis tools from machine learning that we can use to understand the data better, which will then help us understand the brain better and have these, you know, influences feedback. So I think that's a very, very exciting feedback loop there. So.